Hello, everyone in Facebook land. Hey. How you doing? We're so great. Yeah, it's true. We're, uh, welcome to our Facebook Live. Oh, it's up here. Scoot it back a tiny bit. What, the camera? Yeah, just so that you're in the frame when you're on the well, computer. I can zoom out. That's what I meant. Scoot it back. Scoot it back. <laughs> and by scoot it back, you mean... Zoom out. Don't scoot it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I'm like always going like this, and it's like you're scooting away from me, and more to the computer. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. Okay. So, this is the part of the show where Chris goes and shares, shares this. to all the places, and I say something that's mm-hmm. not dumb. Why don't you talk about what you guys had for dinner tonight? We had waffles. We had snickerdoodle waffles. It was one to one ounce to egg. Cream cheese, egg. So we did eight. Well, we did 18 eggs and 18 ounces of cream cheese and then a couple scoops of snickerdoodle keto chow and blend it in the blender, put it in the Costco waffle iron that we keep talking about mm-hmm. that's lovely. It's probably not a brand Costco. It's not a Costco brand. We just no, got it at a, Costco. it's a cuisine art or something Yeah, it's like really that. nice. It's a really cool... Yeah. Waffle iron. We talked about it on our lives last time. It was awesome. Amanda, hi! So, that was good. And Chris had keto chow for dinner. Yeah, and what I just... What did you have? Root beer? Well, no, I actually oh. had um, eggnog. But I realized something as I was going to the bathroom just a couple seconds ago. Mm-hmm. I could have totally eaten the waffles tonight. Because they were keto chow. Well, they're eggs and... Yeah, but it still would have been... <laughs> kind of keto chow. Yeah. It's like pushing the limit, I think, a yep, little bit. Yep, So We could have made them with more keto chow and less other stuff. It's true. But I didn't think about that. I was yeah, just I thinking didn't think about, about it either. quickly getting it done so Sam could go to Scouts. Yeah, that's true. Because he had Scouts at 6, so we had to get him there. And that's where he went. We had to go quickly. And Kate yep. had an orthodontist appointment to straighten her teeth. Oh. And, yeah... So we went from orthodontist to home to waffles to scouts. <laughs> now we're here in our pretend split screen. Yeah, it looks like Behind a split us. screen, but it's not. So It's just funny to me. Yeah, so I had eggnog tonight. Hi, Holly Steve. And um, so it seems like recently, every time I mix up the eggnog, it doesn't quite mix right the first time. And so I'll drink it down a little bit and, you know, just a couple of gulps and then just shake it again really good. And then, boom, it mixes up perfectly. So So you don't get clumps after it's been sitting for hours in the fridge? No, it's... Oh, you mean when... Yeah, the eggnog, for, for whatever reason, it tends to be clumpy. But it's really easy to mix back in. And then it's just fine. So, I don't know, maybe it's one of those things where I need to use an immersion blender or something on it, but... It's kind of interesting. Okay, well, tip so, number one, shake your eggnog twice. Yep, shake your eggnog twice. <laughs> so that'd be well, good. The, even if you just shake it up really good, um, like before mm-hmm. drinking it, mm-hmm. it doesn't have enough like empty space, at least the way I make them, to really mix in good. So, so maybe put less water and then add water at the end when it's shook up? Maybe. Oh, but okay, I'm almost done. Okay, I believe you when I see it. It's true. Well, let's see. Share to a friend's timeline. Miriam Bear. Yeah. So we did our meetup last Saturday, a couple days ago. It was so fun. We had an awesome turnout. Yeah. Met was, some way cool people. It was all soupy. Yeah. It was soupy. We had hamburger soup. We had um, jalapeno chicken soup. What was it called? Oh, it was the... Keto jal- chow jalapeno soup. And we had a keto chow... We had the cauliflower soup. Yeah. They made they both used the chicken soups to make a cauliflower soup and a um, jalapeno, some kind of delicious soup. Yeah. And then we had the prototype for the um, creamy tomato basil. Oh, yes. And a prototype for the um, spicy taco. Yes. And then I made myself a uh, entire meal of the tomato basil. Because everybody else was having soup, and I wanted something super soupy. delicious. Yes. You wanted something soupy. Yeah. Um, Ashley Cruz brought this so yummy spinach artichoke 
soup it was like spinach artichoke oh, yeah? dip except for just it was soup i just wanted to eat the whole thing all of the soups were really good so and then we had quite a few people bring different kinds of biscuits and they were all delicious and the nice thing was they made them small enough so that it was like perfect the perfect size so you didn't have to have all these things that you felt like you couldn't eat so it was great okay i'm done sharing everything okay welcome um, to the amanda live. says uh the keto chow makes a good thickener yes it does it does yeah. and uh steve said that's what she said uh, to shake up the egg nugget twice okay there you go thanks, thanks steve. steve i'm sure that was not holly <laughs> no our heads are smaller with it zoomed out like that yeah but then you're not out of the frame you always go over out of the frame when you're looking at the computer it's true yeah, just scoot over by me and pretend I'm you like me. I'm scooted by I, I you. I don't smell that. Well, not right now. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, anyway, the the thing is still jumping by the, on our end, but you guys can't see it. Yeah, and you can hear everything okay. The little sound bar is going woo. Yeah, I am very good about making sure that I uh, turn on the sound. Turn on the sound now. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, talk about what's going on this week. Yes, we chocolate got... toffee is on. Sale. Yep. Are you sure? Yeah, chocolate toffee's on sale. Okay. Chocolate toffee's on sale for ten percent off. Yeah. It's because last week we were tasting every every week we have two flavors that we have taste for everybody in the office and we we're tasting vanilla and chocolate toffee all week and so I keep thinking that chocolate toffee was last week but it was vanilla so this week yeah. is chocolate toffee and we're also sampling banana at the warehouse so. Yeah. And I made a bunch of banana today. Um, so I had, on like Monday, I'd mixed up, was it Monday or was it Sunday? One of those days. I think it was Probably Monday. mixed up like 20. No, I've, I mixed up more. 12. Oh. It should have been enough. I thought it yeah, because it was Monday morning. Um, no, it was Saturday. One of those days. I think it was Saturday because I did a, uh, my, my post for my 100 days of Keto Chow was me mixing up 12. And that should have lasted oh, four God, days. So Saturday... Sunday, Monday, two, oh, I guess it didn't kind of last four days, but they're all gone now. Yes, um, and the girls are sad when he doesn't have any keto gel left. <laughs> for them to steal. To steal. So. The nice thing about my keto gel mm -hmm. is they like it less with the avocado oil. So if I just keep True. making it with avocado oil, they won't steal it. Yeah. So Unless they're like really lazy. Well, I had and Max. And don't want to make themselves food. <laughs> True. Max and Kate today. Um wanted to have keto chow for breakfast and i was like um i guess you can have one of mine well even sam was saying keto chow i'm like you say you don't like keto chow all the time huh. um i like it okay steven pfeiffer I'm gonna say that's how you pronounce his name wants to know if there's any news about the secret se super secret thing yes we're gonna go get more of them tomorrow but <laughs> not a lot like a pallet yeah and that's it like 125 cases of 12 yeah so um but we're still not we're still not ready to announce to the entire world what it is and a lot of that has to do with um we're it's still up in the air how much it's going to cost whether we can even get them um yeah. there's some discussion as to whether or not the machine that made the super secret thing is going to be going back to the manufacturer or not? Yeah, so it's kind of up in the air. It is up in the air. So it's dumb. Yeah, we we really like um, not being able to control vital elements of the business. Yeah. And supply. It's our life. Yep. Speaking of which, something else we can't control. Oh wait. <laughs> we got the. Filled little bottles of fasting drops today, and those are live on the website right now. At least they should be. I actually and these are the new fasting drops, the high new sodium, low potassium fasting well, drops. Me, I've got Put a, a link in here. I'll hold this for everybody to see. Copy. See how cute it is? It's so cute. It has a new logo on it, and it says reformulated higher sodium in red. Yeah. So you can yell that if you want. Yep. So the original fasting drops are now called electrolyte drops. And those were being, the big bottles of those were being bottled mm -hmm. today. The, um, so cute. The, and then we have the new fasting drops, which are higher in sodium. So 
I posted a uh, graphic that shows the difference between electrolyte drops, mag drops, and fasting drops. Electrolyte drops is kind of a balanced thing. Mag drops is mostly magnesium. Did you post that just now? Yeah, just okay, now. Great. And then the fasting drops is mostly sodium. So they're more suited for what they say they are. As in the fasting so yes, drops when you're fasting, fasting, you can use two capfuls, I think is recommended. I think is what we decided. Uh, you can use as much or as you little can, as you, you want. You really but. can use as much, but we're deciding that that was how much Megan was saying to and they, use. they liked how it says, uh, like using pink salt doesn't taste like dirt or leave sand in your glass. So that's on the front. Anyway, so yeah, so we got we got the little bottles there. They should be for sale. And we got the big bottles, but we didn't get the empty little bottles that because, match with the big bottles because they're out of these Hi, Dana. bottles so you can buy the little bottles right now and you can buy the big bottles if you come to our store in in utah because when you try to buy them we'll say hey we don't have the little bottles we're really sorry so hopefully we'll get them tomorrow or the next or, day yeah or maybe friday day. it's it's kind of they're, up in the air yeah they're waiting we're not sure exactly when we're going to get them and then about the same time, we'll be getting the electrolyte, electrolyte drops, drops, which is what used to be the fasting drops. Which are so awesome. So, anyway. I will recommend those for everyday use. That's right. Um, let's see. Amanda says, I'm trying so hard for a banana bread recipe. Three fills, but I'm going to keep at it. Oh, keep going, girl. I like banana bread. That'd be fantastic. Could you put some nuts in it? Chris doesn't no. like nuts. No. What a waste. Yum. Oh, walnuts. walnuts. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they give me canker sores, among other things. I also I love bitter. walnuts. Yeah. Most... They taste like dirt. <laughs> yeah, they do. Uh, Steven says, well, at any rate, I hope it works out. It'll be awesome if it does. It will. Um, Steven also wants to know, when are you going to be on Shark Tank? Probably never. Yeah. Um, when you go on Shark Tank, the uh, the amount... And we. I love watching Shark Tank. Yeah, I think we love it's, it. I think it's very it's entertaining awesome. television. Um, and to see the things that people have. But uh, the amount of equity, the percentage of the company that they're asking for, for the people to give away for the amount of money they're getting. You know, they always talk about, oh, your valuation is so high. Yeah, that's how high valuations are usually. And it's... To see people squabbling over like a hundred thousand dollars for twenty five percent of yeah, a company, that's a lot of percent in nuts. your company for not a lot of money. So, and, and then the whole thing, the whole thing is you have to have this drama and angst yeah. and everything. And so they're like, "Give me a thing right now. I have to have to know an answer." And it's like, if you want to partner with a business person, you don't make a, a decision like that. No. right now like that's like the stupidest thing ever mm -hmm. so i just can't get over that fact like yeah. i have to have a decision right now or i'm off the table like yeah. no you don't want to make decisions like that that's dumb yeah. but i know it's just for the show yeah so it's and it's very real. entertaining and there's a lot of really cool stuff on there so yeah and we've learned some cool things yeah. so but i i don't really have any plan on going on shark tank because as of right now we still have no desire to bring on any investors um, we're doing quite well bootstrapping it. So. We're doing just fine. Yeah. And I still, I still need to call uh, Christopher um, from Nui. And find out and what really happened. Because <laughs> we were, I, I consider us pretty good friends. And it would be really interesting. And Victor. Yeah, and Victor too. Yeah. Both of them are just fantastic They're people. so great. Um, They're great people. But I'd like to, yeah, hear the inside scoop and see what it was really like and all that sort of stuff. Um, Steve says no nuts. No Steve. nuts? <gasps> yeah. No nuts, Steve. Yep. Yeah, and nuts Steven that Pfeiffer says free advertising, though. Just tell them all no. <laughs> I know, right? And I'd come through as a complete jerk. <laughs> I think that's it, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. Um, chocolate toffee. It's on sale. We already said that. I know. Oh. We're back to the things. The blender bottles are a dollar still. Yep. And, oh, we got in the hydro flasks. I, oh, I haven't even I done a post about some. it. Oh, I some. Dang it. Um, they're cute. Did you already give those to Lindsay? Yeah, they're at Lindsay's house. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we got 
the new Hydro Flasks with the new Keto Chow logo on them. Um, they're already up on the website. You can already buy them. Uh, we've been out of stock of the Hydro Flasks since Black Friday. Yeah. And it's insane that it took this long for us to get them. Because yeah. usually... Usually they're like two weeks and yeah, you get them really, really fast. fast. So it's kind of been a bummer that we haven't been able to yep. get them. But we got them again and they have the Keto Chow yeah, logo. Yeah, they're cute. Um, Speaking of not Hydro Flasks. What? Do you see my gray ring? Oh. It's an aura ring. Not just mine. So I got one that was the pretty gold girly one. And like it was the rose too gold? Small. Yeah. It was too small because it has these three little things. You can't... Yeah, I'm sure you won't. Well, there's no way you can see. Anyway, it has three, really little three little bumps inside. And so the ring fit, but then it kind of was pushing against my finger and it was hurting. And then it was, I could get it off, but it was just uncomfortable enough that I didn't like it. So I got a bigger size. So now I have a... Man, I already had a man hand, so it doesn't matter. Now I have man size. Chris and I wear the same ring size. It's true, but that means we can use the same charger, which That's is That's cool. right. It's actually pretty cool. Yep. I can have man hands. I'm very strong. Uh, Steven wants to know, it, well, he just gave a friend a cookies and cream shake, and they yes. really liked it. Is there a referral system implemented? <gasps> I am going to make one uh, there, because of you. Almost. Yes. Almost. No, we got to uh, write that down. Where's the pencil? It's, it's already on the, it's on the road map. No. It's yeah. Not. It That's, is. It's totally it's on the roadmap. It's called a referral program. Yeah. There, we have a referral program on the roadmap. So the problem is, the reason is. why we haven't implemented a referral, it's where you say, hey, friend, you should uh, get Keto Chow, and when you do, use this code, and you'll get oh, 5% I see. off. I see. I see. But unlike an affiliate it's, program, it's, for, it's for you to share with your friends sort of thing. Um, Which is awesome. We want you to share with We friends. haven't implemented... A, an affiliate program or a loyalty program or anything like that because we're still working on switching shopping carts. It's really close to being done. Yeah, if we could get a developer who could do what they're supposed to yeah. do, it's it'd just, be awesome. It's issues with the shipping. And this is way more information than you want to know, but basically what we had to do is because our bags are so flexible, they fit into boxes really mm -hmm. well, and they're moldable. So instead of a regular box packing algorithm, um, it just wasn't working. It would say, oh yeah, this, these two packages, these two yeah, weak bags need to go into a, flat, a large flat rate box. And we're like, no, we can fit five of them into a large flat rate box. So what I ended up doing is I ended up, we got a really big water pitcher that holds five liters and then we immersed a bag of keto chow and then filled it up to five liters and then pulled it out and saw what the displacement was. When I say we, I mean me. Um, That's right. I did nothing. And I did that for every single flavor and figured out the displacement, how many milliliters of displacement there was for every single bag and every single product. Um, I think this one right here displaces, well, it's 250 milliliters, but it actually displaces 275 when you add the container. Cap. Because the container and the yeah. cap. It's kind of interesting. What? And these oh, displace 33. Asleep. Anyway. I'm impressed you remember that. So. You can't remember our anniversary, but you can remember. I remember our anniversary. When In fact, is it? <laughs> are you kidding me? It's the day after the Cinco de Mayo. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm actually still trying to figure out what we're going to do for uh, Valentine's Day. I think it's your turn this year. Did you know <laughs> that it's Kate's birthday soon? Oh, yeah. That's probably true. Our daughter. Anyway. So. The box packing algorithm for the new website, um, it's going to basically take the size of the box in milliliters and just say, okay, here's everything we're trying to fit in. What boxes are going? Which actually seems really, really simple to me. But the developer's having problems implementing that, so which is kind of weird. I think we're just not a priority. Yeah. Anyway, so... Big once, surprise. Once we get the new shopping cart going, um, a lot of things we'll be able to do. But right now we're kind of constrained. So, uh, well, let's see. And Steven says, Rich science. said. What did Rich say? Everyone thinks I'm crazy for doing OMAD and only keto <laughs> chow. Down 16 pounds since January 2nd. Woo! Nice. And not suffering since it's so delicious. Rich, you're actually beating me right now. Yeah, you um, rock. I'm still down. I hope like you're part 14. of the diet bet challenge so you yeah. can win. Yep. So let's see. Um, sample availability. So two weeks ago, we talked about yeah. the current state. 
Let's talk about it again. We uh, it's still depressing. Okay, so the place that does the packaging of the samples for us. Um, just to recap a little bit, back in like I think it was September or something like that, they were supposed to do a run of ten thousand of every sample, and our manufacturer. The guys that do all the mixing for us so that we don't have to get FDA approval and all that and wear hair nets. Um, they were like a day late getting all of the powder over to them. So the packaging place ran the five flavors that they had and didn't run the ones they didn't have. But as soon as they finished, they had to go right on to the next job. And they've been completely just booked up, up until now. And they keep on telling us, well, maybe you'll do, we'll do it in December. Maybe we'll do it in January. Eh, maybe in early no, February. No, they didn't say maybe. They said they would do yeah, it. Yeah, they said definitely. But And then they didn't, yeah. which is sad. It is sad. But according to what they've told me but now. But it's still our fault because it's our baby. It is our baby, and we apparently should have so ordered the stuff a month we suck. earlier. We're sorry. So sorry, I say that word a lot sometimes. If it would have gone into production a day earlier than it did, we would have had it. I know. Anyway, we would have had it. So in our, in our on, man hands. <laughs> on the twenty eighth, we're scheduled to go on the production line. Cross our fingers. And so all of the flavors, except for the five that have already been done, and chocolate peanut butter which we're still having issues with, but that's a different story. That's we're another depressing that. beast. To date, we've never had a sample of chocolate peanut butter in version 2.1. So everyone knows how much more we suck now. But chocolate peanut butter is the number two best-selling flavor that we have. But really, it's so good, you should just buy it without the sample. <laughs> yeah. Because chocolate peanut it's butter. It's good. Well, if you like the, peanut, to the chocolate, then, then the peanut butter. Yes, yeah. as long as you like peanut butter. It tastes yep. like peanut butter because it's peanut flour. Yep. Um, let's see. So we're supposed to go on the assembly line, on the production line and packaging for all the flavors except for chocolate peanut butter and the five flavors, which are the ones that we currently have in stock. Um, what is it like root beer, cookies and no, root beer, snickerdoodle, uh, raspberry, raspberry cheesecake, cheesecake, mocha, and natural strawberry are the five that we currently have in stock and everything else is sold. So, and it usually takes them about a week or two to run the production. And so hopefully the first or second week of February is when we're going to be getting in the all of the flavors except for chocolate peanut butter. And we also, we're actually having them redo the five that they already did so that we'll have another, we'll have 10,000 of everything. Um, but our manufacturing place is having issues getting the flavors and so they may not have those it's just a bunch of work to run a business i would advise you not to do it yeah just you know for future reference everybody wants to be an entrepreneur and i'm like i don't want to be that yeah i just want to be with my family (laughs) so steven said he's down 14 pounds (laughs) was googling pictures of pizza and cheeseburgers you know you can make keto pizza and you can yes. make cheeseburgers. Speaking of the recipe we talk about the most on our lives, just like the real thing lasagna, my I make the noodles and it. I use it for pizza crust. It's my favorite pizza it's crust. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. And Dustin says, thanks for the diabet challenge. It's kept him from being lazy. And he's down 25 <gasps> pounds. What? Dustin, you win. You're kicking my tail. Woohoo! That's fantastic. Okay, so that's, that's the story on the samples. Okay, and so now I'm going to link this video to the bottom of the samples page. Well, actually, the top of the sample page. So that every time somebody asks, when are you going to get samples? I'll go, I'm really sorry. I know. Here's the video where I explain it. Then you can continue watching and listen to. I want to give you all the samples. Yep. Debbie says hi. Hi, Debbie. And Paula says, only six pounds. No way I'm winning the diet. But no, but you are winning, though. You're winning. Yeah. Um, You're winning in my book. That's right. I have only lost five pounds, so you're still winning me. (laughs) Um, My man hands. So, um, we did a post 
on what are the most popular flavors of keto chow. Oh yeah, I totally in, had in Jen you... print that out and put it behind her computer. Oh yeah? Because so, it's very useful information. Well, it's, it's funny because we get the asked all the time and just going off the top of my head, I assumed chocolate. it was chocolate, chocolate. and probably vanilla. Chocolate. Salted caramel. It turns out number one is chocolate. Mm -hmm. Number two is peanut butter. Then vanilla, chocolate mint, salted Ooh. caramel, snickerdoodle, cookies and cream, chocolate wow, toffee. Wow, salted caramel. You've skipped salted caramel. I didn't skip salted caramel. I don't think you even said When it. you rewatch the replay, you'll hear me say chocolate mint chocolate and salted mint, caramel. Chocolate mint, And I actually doodle. slurred chocolate. Uh, chocolate mint, salted caramel, snickerdoodle. Yeah, salted caramel. Anyway. That's exactly So chocolate toffee, it. raspberry cheesecake, orange cream, eggnog, mocha, the base powder. Strawberry, pumpkin spice, chicken soup, banana, root beer float, and taking up the very last place is natural, natural strawberry. strawberry. So, and that's interesting to me because we have so many people who are so very vocal about the fact that we use, uh, that they don't like that we use sucralose. Yeah, so we thought and that we would do that and make them happy, but the only 2% of people are actually happy. Yep, or 2% or of our sales. Now, some of that's... Um, a lot of that, I guess you could say, is that uh, vanilla Sorry, really and thirsty. chocolate are kind of known quantities. They're Generally speaking, they're going to be good. And so in the absence of samples, that's what people are going to order. Mm -hmm. um, but things like chocolate mint, well, we haven't it's had those so for a good. while. And chocolate peanut butter, mm. we've never had samples of. It's so, so good. Yep. I hate them up. I had peanut butter oh, yeah. twice today. Did mint you? twice yesterday. Oh. Oh, I'm like, breakfast four and, times? How did you do that in one day? Breakfast and lunch of mint in yesterday days, and yeah. breakfast and lunch of peanut butter today. Yep. So, anyway. Hey, Brenda's on. Brenda? I think we were supposed to do a what schedule up? to do it. Oh, yeah, we didn't schedule one. Dang it. What's Sorry, up? Brenda. What's up? <laughs> yeah, that's still funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> I showed my kids the first it's episode of the It's funny when we look like a dork. It was. Um, anyway. Brenda, we still need to have you on the Facebook Live. We'll, uh, Miriam is we going to. She's I'm, gonna schedule that. I'm dying. I need it. You stick your finger in your nose. That's I'm not going nice. to stick it in my nose. Looks like it. <laughs> and Stephen says, once you get the samples going, I bet those metrics will be shaken up. They probably will. They probably will. Yeah. And the idea is, before we get the actually get the delivery, I'm going to put in another purchase order to get more going. Yes. Um. Right now, we have a preponderance of most of the flavors in the big bags, and it's because we had such a problem having st keeping stuff in stock that we kind of over-ordered, but it's really nice to have several thousand of Keto them just is so meta. ready to go. Somebody ready to go. That. So meta. Meta. It's true. It what is does so meta. meta mean? Um, cool. No, it's... Dumb. Um, <laughs> well, uh, meta is... it's. Uh, a higher level explanation of something, I guess you could say. You've got metadata, you've got meta fields, you got metaphorical. Meta mama. Sure. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's see. I'm still doing the 100 days of keto chow only. Um, and as I mentioned at the beginning of this, I could have eaten the waffles that Miriam made for dinner for the, with the kids. Ruth made them. Because they were made with keto chow and eggs and cream cheese. Yeah. but. It still would have been keto chow. Yeah. <laughs> so Brenda, right now, who's on for a minute, I don't know if she's still on, but she was the one that said hi. She is doing carnivore for two straight weeks. Three oh, nice. Weeks. Anyway, I, I really want to do it so bad. I just want to do it. Uh, maybe I'll do carnivore as soon as I'm done with. So, it, well, because April 11th is when uh -huh. I'll finish up my... Uh, metaphorical dyes this guy's so funny uh, <laughs> um, I'm finishing up my 100 days of keto chow only on April 11th and then April 12th is uh, FitCon um, here in Utah oh yeah and I am absolutely planning on going to to Cano's Churrasqueria that where they go to the Texas one Tejas de Brazil yeah. I guess we could but um, they're, well, they're close one of to those each other. delicious places. Yeah, either one's within walking distance. Um, I'll take you. You pay. Okay. Uh, we we went uh, to uh, Tucano's last year after. Um, oh, keto fit, or FitCon. FitCon. Yeah. We went with Nui and Keto, keto Mojo. Keto friends. Heads Up Health. 
um, Sated, and who, did anybody else? I think that was it. Keto Mojo. Yeah, I said so Keto Mojo. And then we had two of ours. And it was, it was a blast. It was way fun. And they kept on coming around asking us if we wanted more meat. And it was like, yeah. yeah bring on the meat. Uh, no Steven pineapple, wants please. to know what's carnivore. Carnivore is when it's you... when you eat only animal products. Yep. And specifically, like, well, you eat eggs, and pretty much everything is a dead animal. Like steak and salmon. Do and you usually eat live animals? No, as in not milk. <laughs> well, there, most people who do carnivore don't do cheese and milk. You don't, don't eat do any live animals. Not lately. I, I might have a, uh, a couple <laughs> spiders I'm crawling so in my funny. mouth. Stephen wants to know if we're in Salt Lake City. We yes. are. Yes. Yep. Are um, you in Salt Lake City? We're at. So our our office is in South Jordan. Uh, we live in Riverton. That's where we are right now. So uh, Stephen went to Rodigio's. Holly like a week says, ago. "Take me." <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can come. Well, last year Holly and Steve abandoned. Yeah, us. you're the one that ditched us. You would have come with us. Yeah, it's true. Um, but it's all right. It was still fun. Yeah. Now, I prefer Brasa Grill over Rodigio Grill just because their spicy um, chicken doesn't because have sugar. Brasa Grill, okay, I love it's Brasa Grill. But they always, I mean, they never have the bacon wrapped chicken. Oh, yeah, even it's though like we asked for every it. Every time you sit there the whole time and they bring you sirloin and sirloin yeah. and sirloin and sirloin. And it's like, okay, I had it's some good. sirloin, it's delicious. But I want some stupid bacon wrapped chicken. It's not like I love it that much. I just want one piece. Yeah. That's it. One piece of bacon wrapped chicken. Come on. And, uh, well, Steve says he's going to cook all the meat. Steve is? Yeah. Holly the, says Steve. I don't at know. The, at the restaurant? No. When we go carnivore. Okay. Every but day. Anyway, Woo. to get back to carnivore, I'm seriously Brisket, considering, after ends. I finish the 100 days of keto chow only, burnt ends. to go a week or two or maybe longer where I'm just eating meat. I'm really going to get my uh, spicy wings. Get my smoker going. It's going to be like smoked chicken legs and yeah. brisket, and you're, you. Need, I'm so just going to. So it'll be good because then the kids can just make side dishes, which is yep. super easy. And I won't eat them. Yeah. We had <laughs> Unless they're deviled eggs. Night. Didn't you say somebody was saying that they wanted the meatball recipe? Kate made meatballs oh. last night, and it was just those Costco um, low carb meatballs. Oh yeah, the what were they? It I was, can't remember. Anyway, they were they were lower carb than they're most. lower carb than most meatballs, but all she did was put tomato sauce and cheese on it, and it okay. was delicious. Uh, Brenda says she's eating steak only for six weeks. So oh, steak go. only. There you go. No oh, prime six rib. weeks. I'm totally off. No prime rib. Come on. No ribeyes. But she got really fatty. Steak. Like she got really fatty meat because oh, nice. she ordered it from her local butcher shop. Nice. Anyway, it's really cool. And Steve thinks we need a barbecue at work. Oh. I don't have time to cook at work. I'm yeah, sorry. Steve I got no time. It would be like old times. Yeah. Way Steve back in the time, dinner. we would be uh, working on making keto at chow, and we'd be yelling, would yell, Steve, Steve go make dinner. Go make dinner. <laughs> and he would go to the store and buy us steaks, and then go out on the barbecue grill and cook them. We'd yep. all come in and eat. Yep. And it was nice. Because we couldn't cook where we were working. Those were the good old days. Those were the horrible, terrible, bad old days, and I never want to go back. They were not that bad. Anyway. We We worked a lot. Now we so, work a lot, and it's just different work. Now no. I stare at a computer screen all day long, and it's so boring. So here I you mean, go. So awesome. Brenda's doing two weeks of steak and water, two weeks of steak and coffee, two weeks steak and decaf with lots of blood tests. For Dave Feldman and Siobhan Huggins, also Woo-hoo. known as the uh, Vampire Squad. I know them. I've given a lot of blood for those guys. <laughs> they are not called the Vampire Squad. Yes, they they're are. They're the Cholesterol Code. They are. So go look them up because they're awesome. Cholesterolcode.com. Absolutely yeah. fantastic stuff. They're um, our friends. I've contributed to their. Uh, I've contributed data to their stuff as well. And our so, twins have yeah. too. Steven State going off. See you later. Bye. You can watch the uh, replay of this. It'll be on YouTube in higher quality. That's right. Or on the Facebooks with the uh, comments. So let's see. Um... We already talked about the new fasting drops and the electrolyte drops. Mm-hmm. We've got the little bottles the little of the new ones. reformulated fasting drops, but we don't have the big bottles. Well, we do have the big bottles. We just don't have the empty little bottles of the new fasting drops. Uh, we're supposed to be getting those like Friday or maybe Monday of next week, which we said last week that we'd be getting them last week. So we'll yeah, see. Yeah, well, we... We just think that when they say they're going to give us stuff, they will. <laughs> yeah. And then they don't. Um, 
Weird. We had a question on the Keto Chow Facebook support group. Mm -hmm. Everyone is talking about Keto Chow. Where do I go to order it? I know. KetoChow.xyz. Not .com? Not .com. It's .xyz. It's the zipper one. Yep. So We're not trying to be inappropriate either. It was just what was <laughs> available. And it, it's memorable, right? If you can not remember the com part. Yep. So, and it actually, if you type in ketochow.com uh, in like Google Chrome, it says, did you mean ketochow.xyz? Or if you Google ketochow, um, it's, it's been out and around since 2015. Mm -hmm. um, it, we have it pretty well established on the internets. So, uh, Linda says she used the old fasting drops the last two days and loves them. <gasps> Yay, Linda. Okay, so Linda, when you go to buy them, buy the electro electrolyte drops. Or so at least they'll be soon. Once we get them. Yeah. The the page, if you have the link for the old fasting drops, it'll take you to the electrolyte drops. Yeah. Um, because it's the same thing, just with a different label. Because yeah. We just wanted the higher sodium ones for when you're for fasting. For fasting. Mm -hmm. And that was based on the recommendation that we got from uh, Megan and Jason. Well, no, Megan, Megan Ramos. Jason didn't give us any feedback. I still haven't ever talked to Jason Fung. I'm looking yeah. forward to giving him a fist bump. We when have we go to low -carb read Denver. his books and listened to his yes. talkings. He's fantastic. He's a great guy. So, um, Changing yeah. Changing people's lives. Somebody wanted to know the difference between strawberry and natural strawberry. The sweetener. Yep. Strawberry has sucralose in it, and natural strawberry has a monk fruit sweetener in it. How much sucralose is in the regular strawberry? 0 0.08 grams per serving. How big is that? The small of a, a small as a toothpick picked up So if up you take a corner. flat toothpick... Yeah, and you scoop I up a you little flat bit of because of that life. Yeah, you scoop up a little bit of powder. On that's how much 0 0.08 grams is just on the it's tip. It's so little. It's very, very, very tiny. And the reason why we use sucralose is because we like the taste, but we also notice it doesn't raise your blue, blood glucose, and we're kind of aiming for that. We really yeah. want you to be a really steady, steady blood glucose level and low, not low insulin, regular insulin <laughs> levels. Mm -hmm. Good, healthy insulin levels, not too much insulin, and we just want you to yep. be in keto. And so, so there, we get the question about sucralose uh, frequently enough that there's a rather extensive frequently asked questions mm -hmm. about our site. why do you use a chemical, chemical, because that's bad, uh, sweetener like sucralose instead of a natural sweetener like stevia. erythritol or mm -hmm. stevia or, or monk fruit. And we do in the natural strawberry. Um, as we previously discussed, natural strawberry is our worst selling flavor. And it's kind of interesting. Um, so, and we did it as kind of an experiment to see how well the, uh, the monk fruit would, would sell. It, it actually costs quite a bit more than the, than the sucralose, um, enough so that we make less money on the natural strawberry than anything else. Um, our markup is actually really, really bad on it. Um, on the samples, we're making like 30 cents. At, and that's before our expenses. So we're doing it just to see how well it goes. Yep. So if you really like the natural strawberry, Hi, Jess. then you should get some more because we... Because we have some. Yeah. And people keep asking, when are you going to do more nat um, monk fruit flavors? It's like, eh. Well, the natural well, and it strawberry could just be that yeah. people just don't like strawberry, which is could be. With when we're testing it, I just kind of felt like it's more fruity flavored, and so it just tasted weird with the chocolate. And yeah, we decided to do fruity. So. Yep. So uh, Derek says, I met a guy yesterday that is type one di diabetic. Can they use keto chow? Yep. So our friend Lindsay, uh, we had her on our Facebook Live. It was like a month ago. Mm -hmm. She's type one. She's type one. Mm -hmm. She is. She's really doing well, isn't she? Yeah, she's doing awesome. Like her she blood... keeps sending me her pictures of her blood glucose monitor after she eats different things. And, yeah, she's doing really good. It took her a little while to get into keto, and she's having some lows. But she's able to fix them, you know, fairly quickly and, and recover. And her recovery has been a lot better. But I think it just is, you just have to be more careful um, about all and any hidden things. You know, I, I think there's so many things that we cannot notice 
on things and it, they won't raise my blood sugar, but anything will just raise hers. So, yeah. yeah, but she's used keto chow before and we've had multiple people at Breckenridge last year. We had two people with the continuous glucose monitors come up to us and say, look, this is me. And they show us their phone and how it didn't raise their blood sugar hardly at all. And so we know that, um, it's good for that. So they can use it. Yep. If they want to, we would be happy to have them use it. That's right. Um, now somebody just asked. Oh, Debbie just said, I tested my blood sugar after keto chow. It was 84, not bad. So Debbie, are you type one or type two? She Good can't, question. she can it'll take a minute it'll to take answer. A while. But anyway, whichever you do, never drink dihydrogen monoxide it chemicals. Is. Did you know that <laughs> inhalation of dihydrogen monoxide can lead to death and it's used as, by athletes to enhance their performance. It's even given to cows to increase their milk production. That dihydrogen monoxide is it's bad stuff. It's water. It is water. You can oh, drown. Debbie's 1.5. Oh, she's one and a half. Yeah, so, so she makes insulin sometimes, but sometimes not, right? Yep. And she uses keto chow, and she does pretty good with it. Like, she just said her um, blood... Glucose was 84, and that's like in normal ranges. Yep. So, Somebody wanted to know when we're going to have Keto Chow shirts with a logo. Oh, Amazon has them already. Yeah. So um, you can go on I've Amazon been, if you want. Oh, we could probably put a link on the website. That'd I, be good. Yeah, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. All right, put well, it on the list I've, I've been, to do. It lets, so there's a thing called Amazon Merch, that like merchandise. You're able to upload logos and designs for T-shirts and pop sockets and sweatshirts and stuff like that. So... I've been doing that, but I can only upload one a day, and I can only have five at a time, and I have four now. So probably tomorrow I'll upload the last one and then start linking them. But the link's in the Facebook thing here. Um, Dustin says he's not a strawberry fan. That's okay. We still <laughs> like you. It's because it's you true. like chocolate peanut butter because you know what's good. It's true. So, And we actually tried the monk fruit in the chocolate. We tried it in it all the flavors. Good. We just didn't like it. It wasn't as good. So So that's why we put it in the one we liked most, was yeah. strawberry. And everyone said... I just think the strawberry needs to be more strawberry-ish. Okay. But that's okay. Okay, so that's the difference between strawberry and natural strawberry. Mm -hmm. um, we had someone who um, went through TSA, through security, mm -hmm. with some keto chow. And oh, it's... I felt so bad. He put it in Ziploc bags. Yeah, well, this particular person, the, um, the explosive scanner freaked out. And they had to get a whole bunch of people there, and he got detained. And he was like, in the end, it was okay, and he got to keep his stuff, and they let him go. Um, number one, put your keto chow in checked bags. Um, even if you're just... I mean, a one or two samples is usually okay. Taking, scooping it into Ziploc bags, you're probably going to get extra scrutiny. Yep. And it'll probably set off the uh, the um, explosives detection machine. This guy, um, he had a supervisor come over, look at it, and says, that is That's obviously protein powder. Protein powder. <laughs> I can smell it from here. It's, he it's peanut butter protein powder. Uh, it's, let the guy through. So, um, I feel bad, though. They, anyway, he wanted to know what it was that was triggering the explosive scanner. To the best of my knowledge, it's the potassium. Um, potassium has a tendency, well, it can pick up radiation, and hold it on to it for just a little bit. Um, Keto Chow is being manufactured on the, uh, what is it, Arizona Plateau? I'm trying to remember what it's called. Anyway, there is some background radiation here in Utah, so it's possible that the potassium is slightly, and I mean really slightly, like really, really slightly irradiated, but that's that's what I think is more than likely the thing that, that triggered it. Um, uh, Anthony, one of our friends on the Keto Chow Facebook group, somebody asked about uh, why Keto Chow tastes so good. And he says, when Chris isn't looking, it's secretly blessed by demons. <laughs> I didn't think that was Anthony. I thought that was somebody else. No, it was Anthony. Oh, yeah. yeah. So That's funny. That was funny. Anyway. Um, it's secretly blessed by demons. Yeah. 
And Jess mm-hmm. gets uh, asked about Keto Chow a lot when she wears the shirt. Nice, Jess. Yeah. And when I say radioactive, I mean, right, radioactive, I mean radioactive like um, air is radioactive. It's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, now everybody's going to be freaking out. Yeah. So, Jess said, I ordered the olive green one. I love all the colors. Okay, Jess, when you get it, take a picture and send it to us because I want to see it. Okay? And just so you know, there are multiple different shirt things. There's, there's a one that has a white standard, logo with dark colors. Which now I have to buy that. There's one that has light colors with... Um, the teal. The teal. Logo. And there's one that has rather garish colors like orange with the teal. So, anyway. That's going to be your favorite color. Yeah, I'm totally going for that it's one. so gross. So, anyway, we'll have them all linked later on. But, uh, yeah, there's like ooh, yellow. And then there's a lot, like, ooh, that's so gross looking. And silver. And we can't gold. have, we didn't put the pyramid on it. That's the sad part. Well, you can only print on one side. That's so sad, huh? Yep. But that's we funny. actually lost money for all the, each of the shirts that we sold with yeah, the food so pyramid we'll on the back. Yeah, we'll just do that. So. See, that'll be fine. That'll anyway. be fine. Uh, let's see. Mixing keto chow with ice in a blender. Delicious. Does it work? For sure. Okay. People Great. do it all the time. So Holly goes and she takes her keto chow that she's already mixed and she sticks it in the freezer and then, and then every 15 minutes she goes and turns it. And then she takes it out and scrapes the sides and then pretty soon she has this nice slushy and she gets some steps. So it's nice. Yeah. She does that at work. <laughs> so that's one way of doing it. The other way is to just throw it into a blender with ice. Now, one caveat to that, if you're using a really powerful blender like a Ninja, um, if you are using heavy cream and you run it for too long... Yeah, you're going to make butter. You are going to make butter. It will make little tiny clumps of butter. My back hurts. And it it won't won't be happy. Say hi to everybody. Say it loud. Hello. Okay. So, yes, you can mix Keto Chow with ice in a blender, and it's really good. Um, Look up here. So you can yeah, look it's in up. everybody's faces. See where my you fingers point. Right yep. Um, okay. Now here's another one Miriam wanted to talk about. Oh, I wanted to talk about. Yes. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that last. That's going to be controversial. Oh, well, okay. So last week, last Saturday, I mm-hmm. went to the store. And while I was at the store, um, I I went he to was Costco. At Costco. Um, I was Getting looking at the list of, of heavy cream. Yeah, get three gallons of heavy cream. Why not? Um, and when I was getting that there, well, also on the list was like the, the chicken, the rotisserie chicken breasts that they, they take off and then vacuum seal them. Um, we get those and make, uh, chicken salad, chicken salad. The kids love it. Yeah. So you get the little th- pieces of baby romaine or whatever, and you just fill them up and just ah, eat them. So really good. Pickles, olives, yeah. mayonnaise, but no it grapes. needs mayonnaise and well, okay, so it's it's really easy to make mayonnaise. Oh, can I have one of those? If you use a food processor or an immersion blender. I, I have not successfully made it with an immersion blender yet. Um, I have really good success using a food processor. Seriously, you like crack an egg into Thank one, you. get it going, and then slowly pour the avocado oil, emphasis on the avocado oil, and the into it. Or you can use bacon fat or any number of things. So... Um, what was I going to okay, say? Okay, we've got to finish this, okay? Um, so, but it, it takes some time to make the mayonnaise. And, well, I'm not eating right now. And I just, I was going to take the, the, the silly road. And for all of the kids who don't have keto, I was just going to get the regular Hellman's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. And then I noticed that they had Kirtland mayonnaise. And the problem with store-bought mayonnaise is that it all has soybean oil. Even the olive oil mayonnaise, they, they tout, yeah. huge. Olive oil, olive oil mayonnaise. Oil. And it's like soybean oil, canola oil. Olive oil. <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> it's like seriously. <laughs> Just because it's in there doesn't mean it's olive yeah. oil mayonnaise. So it's, yes, it is very easy to make mayonnaise yourself. But sometimes when the kids, because our kids don't know how to make, our kids are lucky if they cook eggs and so I'd, I'd rather have them having something without sugar in it and that would be the regular mayonnaise but then I saw right there next to it 
Was um, it Chosen Foods? Chosen Foods yeah. mayonnaise. It has a little teeny tiny bit of honey in it. I think it ends up being less than a gram of carbs for, it's like a quarter cup. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, but it's avocado oil main, okay. mayonnaise. And so, the first ingredient is avocado. <laughs> so on the list of you know, what you want, up here at the top, right here we go, is mayonnaise made with bacon fat. Then you have mayonnaise made with olive, I mean, avocado oil. Then you have store-bought mayonnaise that has a little bit of honey in it. And, okay, that's way better, excuse me, than the soybean oil mayo that you normally get. Mm -hmm. And it's just so funny. I posted that, and a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, that's great. We got so many people yeah, are like, people are how bad. dare you buy that? It's like, this is for my kids. Like, I would rather have them eat this <laughs> than the regular mayo. Yeah. So. Oh, well. Anyway. <laughs> yes, it's easy to make to make mayonnaise. I still and it never tastes made better. it. You know why? Because oh it's gosh. easier when he makes it for me. <laughs> the best way to make mayo is to have Chris do it for you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so for all of you people out there who want to make mayo, just have me make it for you. There you go. You on, got this. On uh, New Year's Eve, we had um, we had uh, deviled eggs, and the the mayo was made with the bacon fat of the bacon we had just cooked. That was cooked. really good, though. And the... Uh, that was good mayo. And, and also a little bit of... super salty. Did I use... I think I just used bacon fat. I don't remember. You yeah, made it. I did. I ate it. It was delicious. Yeah, and it worked out really well. The deviled eggs also had little bits of bacon in it. Did it? I don't yeah. think it did. Yes. That's why you made the bacon. You cut it all up. No. Yes. No. No, oh, I remember that from some time. That was delicious. Just say yes. Okay, well, the, so the bacon <laughs> fat that we used was from the um, bacon wrapped shrimp. Oh, that was delicious. And we also too. made jalapeno poppers. Oh, I've been craving jalapeno. But I, I didn't want to use that to make the mayo because it'd be, it'd be a little spicy, spicy and our children, our children would whine about mm. it. So They don't whine about anyway. anything. Christine, hi! <laughs> She's too lazy to make condiments. She also said that she just went and got the uh, picked chicken from Costco. And look for mayo with avocado oil, and they didn't have it. And oh, I'm sorry. That's the thing about Costco. You some, never know. Yeah. Some of them will have it. Some of them won't. It's just we kind still of... have to go to the downtown store because there's a lot more cool stuff there. Oh, yeah. Apparently, everybody keeps telling us that, and we haven't made it down there. We should go tomorrow. Uh, Debbie's coming by at ten to pick up stuff. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the the mayo that I made. Um, oh, great! The mayo that you're making for her, apparently. So Dustin wants to know, do you sell blender bottles by the case? We haven't ever done that before. I haven't ever done that. They come in a case of 80, 80. Yeah, that's a lot. I doubt you want 80. So, yeah. We could see how many fit in a box. Um, Large flat rate box. Well, I know how many fits in one of the cases that we get keto chow in. Um, it's 12. Oh, yeah. So... Write anyway. us a message. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's see. And and just so you know, when you order more than, I think it's two or three blender bottles, at least we tell people that we're going to open them up and stack them together. Yep, and we do. So then okay, they'll fit there. Hey, Debbie, did you make the lasagna I told you to make? I told her to make the real, just like the real thing, lasagna, peace, love, and low carb. I yep. told her to, but. So for those of you who don't know, just Google Peace, just love, like, and low carb, just like the actually, real thing was on. Peace, love, and low carb was on you. You'll find it. Just like the real thing. Yeah. She has like five or six or ten lasagna recipes. That one's the best. It's really good. I mean, the only one I've tried, but it's still the best. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll have that before I start carnivore. Yes, we'll have a week. And we should of have regular food, and then go carnivore. We should have a caveman keto chili too. That's almost carnivore right there. It's really close, but it has tomatoes in it. I wonder if you could make it without tomatoes. Cows make really tomatoes. Weird. Cows do not <laughs> make tomatoes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so let's see. That's that's all we got on the uh, predefined questions. Dustin said twelve will work. Oh, okay. Good. Anyway, so. <laughs> um, so oh, if, Debbie went out to pizza. Well, pizza's good too, as long as it's keto. Did you see the top? I'm sure she did. Yeah, Miriam went on good. a low-carb cruise last year. 
And yes. and a lot of the people that she was with had never thought about pulling the toppings off the pizza and just eating the toppings. Yeah, it was awesome. They, they made this big giant pile. It was like that tall. We felt. I felt like I was 12 years old because we were like <laughs> giggling and laughing and throwing pizza everywhere. It was very fun. Yep. Okay. Oh, there you go. Pork chop steak and hamburger. Cauliflower crust for the mm, pizza. Nice. Yum. All right. So I think that's about it. Somebody so. said, it's so good. My daughter made it and it tasted good. Again, a lot of work for me. Christine's talking about the lasagna. Oh. Hey, if your daughter makes it, it's a lot less work for you. Yeah, it's true. Our, our kids, they do know how to make deviled eggs. Yes. They make deviled eggs and they make a lot. So they they'll make go. like two 18 packs of deviled yeah, eggs. They didn't put in and with the Instapot, vinegar. it's so nice. Oh, yeah. If you want to make deviled eggs, get an Instant Pot. Six it's, minutes. Yep. Well, it takes a couple minutes for it to heat up. Well, but, then you put it on for six minutes. But our backyard chickens lay eggs. And it, if you try to... So eggs get easier to peel the older they are. Yeah. And uh, if you try to peel fresh eggs that are still warm coming out of a chicken no if you try any any other way except an instant pot it's just gonna not work uh let's see are you kidding my granddaughter wanted me to buy her a cake and bake calzone from the grocery store i did then she went home and left it here i wasn't gonna waste it oh. i opened it up and scooped all the italian meats and cheeses from the inside and then baked it in the oven it was so yummy <laughs> <Nice. laughs> cover it with cheese <laughs> and there's a pizza yeah Anyway, okay. You, are we done? Um, probably. Okay. Is there anything else? No. We're super fast today. Yeah. She uh, ate the calzone, not the cake. I figured that's what she was talking about when she scooped, <laughs> scooped the stuff out. The, I'm like, scoop the, the inside meat and of the cake out. cheese out, out of the cake. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cake are you eating over there? A pizza cake. <laughs> so good. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for joining us, and we'll see you again next week. And don't forget to. Uh, Every day I'm posting uh, video updates of my 100 days of keto. Ciao. Ciao. Yep. They go up on the, uh, on the YouTube channel. I also post them on Instagram's IGTV. IGTV. And yeah. So if you want to. What does that say? say? That? T-H-Z-N-J-S. I think that means thanks. 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 <laughs> All right. We'll see you all later, everybody. Same bat time, same bat channel. Yes, same bat time, same bat channel. Bye. Bye.